Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to some more how to train your dragon with tiny turtle and little lizard in our viking village And Ooh. Scott, what news do we have today? We did a little news bit more news. work So yeah, as you can see we now have an official kind of I suppose entrance area To our viking land and we're gonna build our ship out here So this is where the viking ship's gonna be Scott yeah, it's gonna look so fun. cool. It's gonna be a dragon ship, right? A dragon ship. That's just we insane. Need, we need a design for a dragon flag. If you guys want to build a dragon flag and tweet it at us, we need a design for it. That would be so cool. That's a great yeah. idea. But what else did we do? We decided on where we want to put the dragon temple. The one that we're gonna do to um, keep track of all our dragons and kind of like somebody said in the comments, like a dragon encyclopedia. Yeah. where we have everything and all the info will be... Because we're going to have a lot of dragons. All the info will be in there. So Scott built this little thing here. I'm not sure what it is. I want to I want to kind of build a little dragon statue on it, right? It's going to be hard, but I'm going <sighs> to try and build a dragon statue. We should get a dragon just for that. And just let him sit on it all the time. Just let him sit on it. That would be funny. Don't name <laughs> him because then you'll be attached and you'll want to bring him for rides and all. Just make him be a dragon statue. No, but I suppose you could build something small. I think that would look pretty cool. So Yeah, I'm, I have a good idea of what I want to do. It'll take a while, but um, I don't know. I may work on it this episode, or I may work on the actual temple. What do you think? Because I know you want to go and yeah. get some supplies. So basically, the, tedious... the idea is that when we come up this way, this is going to be the pathway here. This will be the dragon facing us, and then you come up and around. And the dragon temple will be kind of led from here up this hill. So we cleared out a few of these trees. We got a lot of torches um, yeah. around. So you can see it's going to kind of go up the hill all the way up to the top. And the temple will be at the top up here. But that's kind of the lead up as well. So it's going to be pretty cool. A bit of a longer project again. And the temple's going to have to be big enough, Scott, because we need to keep track of every single dragon. It's going to be a lot of dragons. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, hell of a lot of dragons. It needs to have a lot of space in it, and each bit of dragon inside can't take up too much space either. And then again, we've got our three water pools. Like once we join up these water pools for all the water dragons, Scott, and have the pathways and all done in here, it's gonna look pretty epic. It's gonna look so good, and I'm looking forward to having it. Yeah. So I'm gonna get working on building. Ooh, what will I do? Will I start the temple, or will I? Do I'd the... say start the walkway up to the temple, if okay. you can. I think that would be. So we can kind of give a basic idea of what we're going for. Because we want to go for something like kind of Skyrim, Japanese-y type. Not Japanese-y, it's... Uh, well, the, the temple might be. <laughs> the te oh, I meant the shape, like the temple. Okay. But maybe not. You probably have a better idea than I do. Oh, uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. So, I always. think you wanted to get spruce wood for it, didn't you? Yes, yeah, so I'm just coming back to grab a couple of axes. I also would like to make some torches, maybe. We don't have any coal. I need to get mm. some coal. Um, I've got a pickaxe there. I got a ton of wood, so I'm good to go. You're going to um, start with on that? This, I'm going to start with oak wood. See, I kind of want to use actual wood rather than planks for a good bit of it as well. So, I just chopped all the trees. Chopped down oh, quite a lot. Yeah, trees. yeah. Actual wood. That'll look better. That'll look yeah, better, it would definitely. Look good. But guys, if you are enjoying How to Train Your Dragon, then be sure to drop a like on the video. Any support is always appreciated. And also, just wanted to say, if you're new to the series, then be sure to subscribe. But also check out the full playlist in the description so you don't miss out miss out on any of the videos. Because yeah. we're doing it every day, Scott. Every day. Every and, single um, day. There's a full playlist that has them all down there, and you can watch them all, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go and I want to try find a spruce forest, Scott. Spruce. So that would be the snow biome there. That would be sprucey, wouldn't it? Are you gone already? Well, I'm on my way. Oh, okay. Um, spruce. Yeah, I'm you just can running it. because the snow, the snow one, yeah. I'm giving I'm giving the dragons a break because it's only down the road. Yeah. Soon enough this whole area will be part of our land. It won't be w wild anymore. It won't be the wilderness. So We'll have to be running through it. There'll be no point. Oh, that'd be funny enough if our area was so big we had to use the dragon to fly from one side to the other. Oh, I reckon it will. I reckon it will as well because dragons take up a lot of space. It's gotta be slick. Yeah, so that's all gonna be spruce wood in that forest. So that's perfect. That's where I'll go to grab some. Um, how much do you think I'll need? Should I grab maybe two stacks? Hmm. We could start with two stacks and see how that gets us. 
can start, but I don't know how far it's gonna get us. Okay, well I get three stacks. Yeah. Okay, okay, that's the goal then. Three stacks. Let me let me start. Just getting a basic idea of what we want to get going here. So let me actually use yeah. All right. Let's put that away for a second and let's get going. So three stacks of this wood, and we because the oh no, there's none left. Um, we'll be mainly using this for the temple then. Yeah. This temple's gonna be so Literally epic. The temple. I'll do the walkway up to it in uh, oak. Yeah. So what we're thinking, guys, is that in the paintings we're gonna hope to have the dragons, and that way we can put a painting up of the dragon, and then underneath it we'll give the name and what kind of nature he has. So if he's like, I don't know, let's say it was Twig. I think Twig's, I don't know, caring I suppose because Twig was looking after Bubbles yeah. when he was growing up. Do you know what I mean? So you can you can kind of pick out different little natures. Yeah, I think uh, Pyro would... is gonna be a messer. Pyro's a little messer, is he? Yeah. Okay, it's gonna start lighting things on fire. I, f I feel like that would will. be the worst, actually. Maybe I know. We just lit up our village oh, on fire. Oh god, it's all made of wood. That god, we shouldn't have a fire dragon. <laughs> yeah, let's keep them far away from our Viking village, made purely out of wood and flammable objects. Yeah. Good plan. All our, all our sheep will be running around with um, fire on their backs. We have to get the sheep first, though. We do need to get the sheep first. Mhm. Mm okay, so I'm thinking. Let me grab so this. Okay, like I'm, I'm a stack in already, so this shouldn't take too long. Easy. Should only take a minute. It's because these trees just have so much wood. Do easy peasy. Can you give me all that wood? Let me come over here. So, I've been reading a lot of the comments, guys, and it's kind of mix mash on where you're going to get Toothless. Yeah. So it's got. Still, okay. It's still kind of it's, tough to figure out. It's still tough to figure out. Some people are saying if you put them in the plains, you will get them. But others are saying that the plains won't work. Yeah, um, I saw that. Some people said don't put them near too many flowers. I'm not sure if that's something we could try. <laughs> so many options. Yeah, once know. they're not near trees or flowers or something, maybe there'll be a chance. So, I mean, it's going to take a bit of work to get it. Just like we've been doing previously, but I think it's good the way we're doing it because if we had a got toothless straight away, then we wouldn't have twig, we wouldn't have bubbles, wouldn't be there, and who else wouldn't be there? Pyro. Who's Pyro would probably Torn? be there because you're in the desert. Torn wouldn't be there. So well, we would have got Aether. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying though. If it had it worked out, we'd be we wouldn't have these dragons that we love already. Oh. So I think it's working out well. I think Toothless will appear as soon as he's meant to appear. And he's gonna have a nicer home. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna have lots of time to be building. He is, he's gonna have a nicer home. I'm right beside the Vikings we helped out before, Scott. Oh, okay, cool. For their dindins. They're still chilling out here. They're still on the dragon hunt. Looks like they haven't been successful. Maybe they don't know they're meant to get eggs first and then raise them. Yeah. They're Maybe just looking they for dragons. They're... I hope they don't come over here. Take all of ours. Yeah, hopefully not. That would be terrible. Uh huh. Dude. I think this is looking cool so far, but I'm not sure. It's tedious. Dude. Find out momentarily. But I have heard, Scott. Um, I have heard you can find dragons around the land. Really? Mm hmm. You can find, like, evil dragons or good dragons. Ooh. So. That's kind of that kind of scares me a little. It's good that we're getting kind of geared up and ready to go first, but the idea of finding evil dragons around, yeah, kinda that's crazy. That's gonna be wow. So we'll I have to go on a few adventures, but I, I think it's easy enough that. to tell. There's like because there's different um, dragon races around the world. Yeah, and not like running races, like no actual, actual race races. races. <laughs> but uh, there's like some of them are good, some of them are evil, and some of them are just not caring. They're just mutual. Huh. So we gotta be careful. If we see any wild dragons, Scott, they're, they're usually in packs as well, so if we do see any, just yeah. just be very wary. Because if they are evil, then that's gonna be a little bit dangerous. 
But hopefully we'll be geared up and ready to go. We'll have some nice Viking armor and stuff like that. So that we won't we won't get shredded too quickly. Let me get up here. Oh no, there's another one? This is a big tree. Okay, there we go. Okay, I've almost got the tree stacks. I've got two and a half, so a half more. And we'll be there. And then this wood will be put to good use in our dragon temple. Or on our lead up to our dragon temple. Are you making like uh, arches? I'm making the arches out of the oak. Out of so oak, we, okay. We but had a little chat before, guys, about what we wanted. Yeah. Um, and it's kind of like these archways, and I think they look cool. I've done two so far, I'm on the third. Um, I think they look really, really cool. Do you want to leave them as oak, or do you want to change them to spruce? Oh, no, oak. You want to leave them as oak? They look, they look real good, yeah. Cool. So then maybe do the temple out of spruce. Yeah, that's what I thought we were doing. Cool. I like that. Okay, I've got... I need three more blocks. Three more blocks. Give me a small tree. Let's take this one. I'm we should probably eight. be replanting a few of these trees as yeah, we Yeah, I'm running out of wood here. This is a hell of a lot of wood I have to use. Okay, I've definitely got enough now, but let me just grab this. So we'll probably do <clears throat> a replant as well mm -hmm. throughout the map. Like... Let's say we end up taking down most of this forest to build stuff, then we'll run through with a load of spruce um, saplings and we will replant it all up. Let yeah. me just see if I can find my way home. I think I'm going the right way. No. Wait. Is it... Where is it? I'm on the opposite side of the desert, am I? No, no, no. No, no, no. Okay, we're okay. Are you nearly here? Oh, two big golems. We're not dealing with that right now. They can throw blocks so far. They can. They can literally throw blocks miles. So really we're not going to deal with them right now. So diamonds is something we're going to need. I know we have a few, but I think we're going to need diamond armor. Because oh. all I've got right now is a really broken iron chest plate. So we got to be very careful. Can't believe it. What? 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 Can't believe it, right? What's up? You got to come and look. I'm coming, but what's going on? Could have done. Did you break something? Ryan, did, did you plant thought. an egg? I'm so sad. What did you do? This took ages. You've got to come and look. Did you do it uneven? <laughs> <laughs> what did I do? How did I do that? Oh, Let's did see. you mess I stuff I up? I thought it was right. I thought it was right. Oh, it's, it's, only the, on it's only the last one. It's, I can fix it. Okay. Um, but Hold it's on. I'm on my way anyway. Let me see. I this forest I... is so big. I keep forgetting it's so big. Okay, I think I see light. I thought I did it right. Okay, I think I'm here, I'm here. One, two, three, four. Oh, they five, look good. Six. Oh, straight mm. up. I knew it. And then I did, over here, I did one, two, three, four, five. So these are going to be our uh, archways. Yeah. See, look at that one. Haha. <laughs> look Which, at the third one. It's out too far. Come up to me. It's a oh, block you... over. <laughs> Oh, that's silly. No good. It's no good. How did you do that? So let me go down here and have a look. This Five, is pretty cool. Six. I like this idea. Yeah, I, I like, like it. That. Let me see it coming up from the side, because this is what we're going to be looking at. So we'll be coming up uh, from, let's say, here. And then we'll be on our way up to the temple. So we got to come up and go up and then through this. That's some amount of wood you got going on, though. I know, that's what I said. I'm running out, <laughs> like, because I, I did get a lot because I had planned to do this, and I knew it was going to take a lot. But yeah. uh, I'm starting to run out already, and I still don't, I still have a few arches to do. Okay, Scott, so you're still working away here. What I'll do is I'll I give you it. this wood. You did, I, I see that. That's pretty fixed good. I'm going to give you this wood, because you seem to be the craftsman right now. So take all of that, yeah. and you. I know you won't be using it for these, but you'll be using it for the temple. Are they evenly spaced between each other as well? There. Okay, good. That'll be good. There it looks look pretty cool. It looks pretty, pretty cool. I like sweet. it. Sweet. But what I'm going to do is I want to go down and I decided I'm going to bring Pyro up here, Scott, to, to chill with you because Pyro was only born and doesn't have an area yet. So I feel bad. Bubbles, at least, is chilling with Ooh, Splash. Put him, on the, put him on the statue. Yeah, I will. Bubbles is chilling so with Splash. Chill Twig yeah. is chilling with Ivy. Um, Thorns, you might want to bring down. He's oh, I will. Once I've got him uh, up there. Yeah, he's he's having a nice time. He can just see So him. hopefully Pyro lets me ride him now. Oh, no, I he doesn't. Know. Why would he? He's my dragon. Come on, Pyro. I'll get him, will I? 
Yeah, come get him. Scott, I realized I could might be able to walk him down with the lead, but I can't make him stand up. So if you make him stand up, then I'll try and wipe, make him walk down. No, the lead oh. won't even work on him. No. You're going to have to... Pyro... I hate is... rain. Pyro hates rain. Mm -hmm. You can hear him sizzling. So you fly him down there, Scott, and just throw him up on the the little pedestal. Actually, I better go check on Ivy and Twig, because they've just been chilling for a while. I want to make sure everything's okay. I know Bubbles is there. I can see Bubbles, but these two, they're hiding around the corner, so let's make hey, sure. You're not allowed to burn it down, Pyro. Okay. There's Ivy. There's Twig. They're all chilling. Do you want to bring Thorns down to chill with those? Uh, Well, yeah, he doesn't have a name written yet. All right. Is he tamed? He is tamed. Yeah, once he's tamed. Oh, I don't know. think he has a saddle. There's a right saddle now. in the chest. Ooh, Pyro. Look, Pyro's chilling right. Oh, yeah. That's cool, actually. Pyro's chilling up there. That's really cool. That actually looks really good. It'd be cool if he wasn't moving. If you could yeah. make him just stay still. But obviously with any real dragon you want. Unless we can make some sort of like dragon hologram or something. That'd be pretty cool. Dragon hologram. Yeah. <laughs> right here we're gonna get a dragon hologram. Oh my god. Right, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'm sure we might be able to do something with like a dragon statue or... Something crazy yeah, like maybe. that. Maybe. So, where are you going? Are you bringing thorns down? No, I'm still building. Oh, I didn't see you there. I'm uh, in behind. Uh, oh, you're doing the next one? Yeah. Are you gonna? Oh, you're going to have to bring it up a bit though, aren't you? Here we go. It's going to start here. I have no idea where you are right now. Where's the turtle? I'm behind. Behind what? The last arch. I'm obviously doing the fourth arch. Yeah, that's where I'm looking. Okay, well, I'm coming up out of oh, the ground now. Are. Hello. See? I see now. It's six back and one in, you see, right? Well, that's a lot of wood. Yeah, I'm just about to run out. So, I'll be able to just mark the other side, but I won't be able to build it. You're running into a tree as well. Yeah, I'm trying to jump. So, Pyro, let's go over and just have a quick look at the swamp where the fire dragon area is going to go. Because that's going to be fire and nether, so that's going to be quite big. So you can see that. All yeah, we got to build a big volcano. So we've got to we've got to hit up the Nether soon, right? Yeah, because I I wouldn't mind changing most of the floor to Nether as well and putting like little lava pits. Oh yeah, that's that's the plan. So it has to be real real themed towards the fires and the dragons. Like this could be a lava pit. This will all be Netherrack, um, and Nether brick. Then we'll have the volcano maybe spurting up at the back side here. I mean, it's not a huge area, but I think it will be good. If you just let them all be kind of open on the ground, it's not like the water area where they can only sit on the pedestals. They can all sit everywhere in here, so yeah, should be should be enough space. And we'll what we'll do is use nether brick fences to tie them down. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. But guys, I think for today we're gonna finish it up here. If you are enjoying, be sure to smack that like button, and we'll be back again tomorrow for another episode of How to Train Your Dragon.